Hi, it's Wednesday, and this week's topic is coping mechanisms for dysphoria and how society treats us and those kinds of fun things. Um, I'm going to start off with coping mechanisms for dysphoria specifically. Um, some of the things that have helped me a lot are things like having clothes that actually fit me that like I'm comfortable in. Um, for a very long time that ended up just being a lot of hoodies and t-shirts and baggy jeans, but it was what I was comfortable in. And now um, it involves a lot of flannels and button-ups and still a lot of hoodies, mainly this one, but it's my favorite and the only one that actually fits me right. Which, yeah, clothes that fit you right. Um, when you don't have a lot of money though, that can be a big issue. Uh, I shop a lot at secondhand stores and um, we have a couple resale shops um, where I live that are like, they're pretty much just like high-end secondhand stores. Um, you can still find some pretty cheap clothes and also I shop a lot at Ross when I need jeans and stuff like that and then um, Rue 21 because I am very small and they have uh, small slim button-ups for when they're on sale like five or six dollars a piece. Um, there is also having like if you have really bad top dysphoria, um, having a binder that is good and actually fits you. Um, I'll try and remember to put some links in down below for um, different places that you can get binders for fairly cheap. And um, if I can find it, there's a couple. There's a couple um, like binder exchange things that I know about. If you have really bad dogs for you, like having a good, decent packer that you are actually comfortable with, but there's still always the issues with things like binders and packers of not having access to be able to buy them online and stuff like that. And um, what I ended up doing is having friends buy them for me and also having them shipped to friends' houses, not my own house. Um, and as for the other part of um, coping mechanisms, so I myself have been struggling dealing with anxiety and depression pretty much my entire life. Um, a lot of that also goes into that I have really bad issues with OCD and that's obsessive compulsive disorder. I have a few different things that I try and use as coping mechanisms for just about anything that is stressful or give or along those lines. Some of the good things that I've used are things like plugging into music and just going for a walk or going for a bike ride, just to finding a safe place to sit and blasting my music. Um, I have used my martial arts, like if that's, and like in a way that that could be helpful is um, the physical activity and having a way to get out any aggression in a safe manner. Um, that was always really helpful and it was also a place that I did feel safe. There is also things that I've used like diving into books as a distraction. 
my mom and my sister have dealt with plenty of times of me randomly baking because it was a repetitive thing for me to do that would help calm me down. It was something for me to focus on. Um, I do a lot of random arts and crafts kind of things, anywhere from hat making to drawing to crocheting to painting and jewelry making and all sorts of things that I've used as repetitive things that I can focus on to help me cope and deal with whatever it is that I'm needing to cope and deal with. It's good if you have the option to have a safe place you can go, whether it be a park or a friend's house or even if it's school or a coffee shop or anywhere that you know you can go and feel safe and just be able to chill out for a bit in high school. Um, I even found a few little ra random little cubby holes that I knew I could go hide when I just needed some time to myself to deal with whatever it was that was going on. Having a friend or another person you can go and talk to about whatever it is that's going on can be very helpful. Um, I have had even teachers and school staff members that I have gone to. Um, in high school, a staff member was that I knew I could trust and talk to and felt safe around was the only reason that I graduated. Weirdly enough, probably one of the biggest coping mechanisms that I use are things like this. Just something repetitive that I can do to calm myself down. And you can tell that I've been to playing with my hands this entire video because I do feel really anxious and I have been dealing with a lot of things that I don't quite know how to work through. And for anyone out there watching this, if you don't have a safe person you can talk to about like anything that's going on. I personally, like, I will put my Tumblr <laughs> down in the description box as well, and I am willing to chat with anyone that needs it, and hope that I can help in some way. No, I am not a registered therapist or psychologist or anything like that. I'm just a person willing to listen.